What's up everybody? It's Anis here. Welcome to another episode. Today we are here at Newport Coast, California and about to tour this newly constructed, stunning modern Mediterranean home right behind me. Get ready to see some exquisite finishes, amazing rooms, six car gallery, and a primary bedroom suite that takes advantage of these incredible ocean views. Now, specs of this home. We got five bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, 11,671 square feet of interior space, built on three combined lots, totaling approximately 26,000 square feet. And this property is currently on the market for $34,900,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we get started, I wanna thank the listing agent, Hannah Kartra, for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. Now, let's begin our tour. All right, everyone, before we go back to Newport Beach, California, I wanna thank this week's video sponsor, Policy Genius, which is America's leading online insurance marketplace. When I was a professional windsurfer, I had a really bad accident. And I was so glad to be well insured, which saved me a lot of money and a lot of headaches in the weeks following the injury. I can't imagine going through that kind of experience without being protected by a solid insurance policy. In each chapter of my life, having an insurance policy is what's protected me from all the mishaps. But more importantly, having the peace of mind, knowing that I was insured is something you can't put a price on. I decided to partner with Policy Genius because while insurance is very important for rainy days, it's often too complicated to find the right policy. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. In minutes, you can work out how much life insurance coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. You can save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius, and you could save $1,300 or more per year on life insurance by using Policy Genius to compare policies. And since they're licensed experts, work for you, not the insurance companies, you can trust them on getting the best deal. Plus, you can get help throughout the shopping and buying process, which is truly unique. And did I mention, they don't charge you any extra add-on fees. So go to policygenius.com slash NS to get started today. And thank you, Policy Genius, for sponsoring this video. Now, back to our tour. House is located on one of the premier streets here in Crystal Cove. And on top of that, it's actually located on a cul-de-sac, so it's nice and private here. On our right-hand side, we have the driveway going down to the lower level where we have the subterranean garage. That garage is currently holding some incredible cars, and we're going to see that later in the video. Now, on our right-hand side, we have the walkway taking us to the back side of the property. Again, we'll tour that later as well. And now let's talk about the house itself. Beautiful smooth stucco finish on the exterior. House has a modern Mediterranean architecture. And I love these recessed in arch windows and balcony details we have on the first and second floor. And to complement the warmth of this exterior, they have these steel planters, shutter details, and ornate light fixtures. And lastly, we have this entry here with a water feature and the front door right in front of us. Let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. We have beautiful limestone floors pretty much throughout this level. Gorgeous light fixtures above, and we're gonna see beautiful light fixtures throughout. On my right-hand side, we have a formal dining area, but first, let's focus this section where we have the formal living room area. We have a beautiful seating setup gorgeous chandelier right above and to cozy up the room we have a gas fireplace here clad with beautiful marble book match and i really appreciate how they put uh marble cover plates for your future tv setup that's awesome yeah mikey let's get a close-up of that that's right you already did there you go <laughs> now we have the built-ins here small sink setup and you have a, a built-in fridge as well and going this way we have sliding glass doors that pockets into the wall opens up to a covered patio and to the amazing views. We're gonna see that later in the video. And right behind the formal living room, we have this section right here, and we have the double doors opening up to the secondary seating area. Just like the formal living room, we have these sliding glass doors pocketing into the walls, opening up to the covered patio space that leads you to your backyard. Same limestone floors, nice cozy room. I really, really like the warm 
wood paneling that they have throughout as well as the ceilings. We have the cove lighting detail, another gorgeous chandelier here. And just like the former living room, we have a gas fireplace here with beautiful marble with built-ins on each side. And lastly, we have these arched windows facing the front of the home, bringing in a lot of natural light to the space. Now, as we go back to the entry, right on the other side, we have the formal dining room area, beautiful table, seating for 10, gorgeous chandeliers above. We have more arch windows facing the front of the home and these sliding glass doors open up to the side of the property where you have more additional outdoor space. Again, we'll also tour that later in the video. This door opens up to the chef's kitchen, which is incredible. And we have a small wine rack design right here. Now, as we go this way, we're back at the main hallway. On our right hand side, we have the staircase going down to the lower level, as well as the second floor. And I really like how they carried out the same limestone finish on the stairs as well with these marble risers and LED lighting. Looks very elegant. Now, right here, we have an additional hallway, small hallway closet, French doors opening up to the backyard, and this door opens up to an exquisite powder room, white oak cabinetry, beautiful marble countertops, and they carried out the same marble as a back wall here as well with this recessed in mirror design. And in fact, they carved out the marble to follow the lines of the mirror, which is really unique. Chandelier above, wall sconces, and to top it all off, they have a concrete drop-in sink, which is really unique. Yeah, I bet that sink weighs a ton, but I wanna know something about that uh, marble wall. That's not a single piece, is it? Is that just like a kind of clad on there? I mean, there's some cuts in there, but it's pretty seamless. Looks yeah. pretty cool. I mean, that must be extremely heavy. Also, I mean, trying to make this work here and make sure all the lines are perfect, that's not easy. Yeah, I can imagine. Now, another unique detail about this powder room, they have these upholstered walls, which is really exquisite, and we have the water closet here. Amazing powder room. Now, we're back at the hallway. On our right-hand side, we have the elevator access here, and following this opening, we have the grand kitchen, family room, and the dining area. This side of the home is all open, gets ton of natural light. We have these sliding glass doors all opened up to the amazing views. We have that perfect indoor outdoor flow. Dining area over here and right in front of me is this incredible kitchen. Dual islands, beautiful white oak cabinetry. We have the first island right here with the compressed glass countertops with the waterfall edge. This one is backlit, has seating areas on each side. Right next to that, we have the secondary island same countertops with the waterfall edge, of course. Some extra storage on this side. We have the main sink here. And as we look to this side, we have the base cabinets here with marble countertops, mosaic marble backsplash with the chevron pattern. And I really like these upper cabinets with a glass insert. In fact, Mikey, let's get a close up right here. They even have the recessed lights inside of the cabinets. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a cool touch. Although I guess you always have to keep it perfectly organized, you know? That's also true. Everyone can see it. That's also true. All right, now, as we continue, we have a 60 inch Wolf gas stove here, six burner, vent above clad with the same white oak cabinetry. On this side, we have the main sink, like I mentioned earlier. Let's see, Mikey, let's get a close up. We have the paneled in dishwasher located here. And as we continue, more base cabinets, more uppers. You have your espresso maker, microwave here, paneled in freezer, and your fridge. And we have more base cabinets and uppers on this side, kind of servicing the eat and dining area with a small fridge here. Oh, lastly, LED lighting underneath the cabinets. Now, that's not it for the kitchen because we have this hallway here. This is really cool. And I think any home above $20 million should have this. Walk-in fridge. We really don't see these enough. This is cool. This is luxury. Like, I love this. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we've, we've seen like one, maybe two. It's really cold here, by the way. I gotta get out, but it's just a really nice amenity. Uh, I feel like any homeowner would really appreciate that. Mikey, let's step back for a second. Let's see, we have a pocket door here, opening up to the amazing chef's kitchen. We have the same white oak cabinetry, also here with quartz countertops, open shelving, casement windows that are facing the side of the property, your sink setup, Let's get a close up. We have the first dishwasher here, nicely paneled in. Second one on this side. Right behind me, we have this door opening up to the formal dining room area, like I mentioned earlier. More base cabinets, more uppers. Then set up, you have an additional uh, 48 inch gas stove here. And 
there you go, additional fridge set up here. I mean, this chef's kitchen is great. There's one more detail here. I know Mikey loves this. I've been looking forward to this thing. I don't know why I like these so much, but. Touch uh, stories, huh? Yeah, we don't see them that often. We don't see them that often. It's a cozy touch, but the reason I want to open this door up, let's go check out the side of this property. It's not so common for properties in this neighborhood to have a backyard space like this one. This property sits on a really spacious lot. And on our right hand side, we have the staircase going up to the second floor, back side of the property where you can access the guest suites. Now, as we follow this walkway, we have beautiful landscaping around. Again, this side yard is very spacious. We have a water feature right in the center. And right behind me, we have these sliding glass doors from the family room opening back into the house. Before we go in there, there's one more detail I would like to point out. Instead of going with some sort of a, a gutter design, the developers went with this rain chain design instead of gutters, which looks really unique. And during rain, water just runs over it. It's really cool. Yeah, I saw these around the house. I was wondering what they were, but I like that name, rain chain. Rain chain, that's right. All right, now we have the patio space here. Same limestone floors goes into the property. Another set of stacking glass doors opening up to the spacious family room. Nice, comfortable seating here. Same recessed lights, cold lighting detail. And on the other side, we have the gas fireplace clad with beautiful marble and built-ins on each side. There's one more detail I would like to point out here. These sliding glass doors behind me, including this open corner design, they're all automatic with a push of a button. You get the seamless indoor outdoor flow. Now, as we take this hallway, on our right hand side, we have a full bathroom, natural stone floors, walk-in shower with chrome fixtures, and we have the vanity set up right here. I'm kind of curious, what kind of stone is that in that shower? That's pretty cool. Go in there, show them. I don't know. I think it's onyx. I don't think it's marble. It does look really cool. Look at all the texture and everything. Yeah, it's like little crystals almost. That's know? right. That's right. I think it's onyx. Yeah. Anyway. If you know, let us know in the comment section. All right, now we have this door opening up to the side of the property. Now we're not done yet with the interior square footage on this level because we have another door from the family room opening up here, covered hallway, and this door opens up to the first floor of the detached guest house. Come on in. First floor of the guest house is currently staged as an office, but before we talk more about this room, why don't we go through this door and check out the full bathroom. We have beautiful marble floors, white oak cabinetry, marble countertops with the wall sconces, and as we go through this door, we have the water closet here, and that leads us to the spacious walk-in shower, beautiful marble walls, and they carried out the marble design from the floors into the walls as well, creating this beautiful contrast. Now, as we get out of the bathroom, let's go check out this spacious room. Again, staged as an office. We have two French doors opening up to the backyard and the side yard, desk set up here, and more built-ins on this side. I appreciate that they put a small sink here, microwave, and I'm pretty sure, there you go, this is a small fridge. Yeah, it's almost like a little kitchenette, I guess. And what I like about this guest home and the reason they staged it as an office is because it opens up to this side yard that we just toured, has its own patio space with the pergola design above. Mikey, can we uh, tilt up to the ceiling for a second uh, to the pergola design? We have the wood beams and right on top, they capped it with the copper flashing. Looks great. It's a nice, elegant detail. I wanted to point it out these columns, and I think I forgot to mention it earlier. What's so great about the side yard is, let's say you have guests coming or you have people working at the chef's kitchen, they can go through the side yard and access to the kitchen. Or if you have meetings here, they can just take this walkway, come here, have your meeting, and they can just leave without going through the property. Yeah, it's nice to have. I agree, I agree. Now, this side yard kind of wraps around to the backyard. We have an outdoor dining area here. And as we continue to the other side, of the office let's open up this french doors and go check out the incredible backyard first off secondary patio space off of the guest house look at your views from your office this is incredible i mean this place the energy here we're elevated we see the ocean we see the hillside it's so nice yeah it's uh it's really really nice and We've been in LA too long, like even this grass, I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to have grass. Isn't it ironic? Every time we tour a property in Newport Beach or Orange County, we just keep complaining about living in LA and why we don't live out here. I mean, people are literally enjoying the ocean. I see people sailing on their boats. It's nice. We're not there yet. We're maybe, not there yet. Maybe we'll start a Patreon. Maybe. 
<laughs> Let us know in the comment section if you guys would support us. All right, now we have walkways here, beautiful water feature off of the guest home. The second floor of the guest home might get some of the best views of this property. And again, we're gonna tour that later in the video. Now, let's take this walkway. That's the door that we just walked out of. And as we continue, we step up to the patio, limestone floors, but right here, they have more of a lettered finish for, uh, so you have a little bit more texture and grip. Covered outdoor patio with light fixtures and following the other side, this is where we have the outdoor dining area off of the kitchen, outdoor dining table, your built-in barbecue setup, your gas grill, fridge, small sink, and I really appreciate these polished concrete countertops. Something about concrete countertops I just really like. You know what I like? What? They actually, they decided to put a vent above because it's not fully outside. So they're like, you know. You well, it's close to the open, kitchen. Yeah. That's like, right. You have these doors open, you might as well put a vent. Get any Smart. smoke or anything else, yeah. Smart. Now, covered patio space. Let's step towards the pool area. Same limestone floors. We got a beautiful pool set up here. Deck jets are on. I mean, look at this lifestyle. This is really nice. Now, we continue. This is the French doors opening up from the hallway where we have the powder room. On our left-hand side, we have an additional covered patio space. This is the formal living room area and that's the secondary seating area that we toured earlier in the video. Nice outdoor space. And as we go this way, following this walkway, more outdoor seating, your spa setup, incredible views, and we got more to see. Let's continue. On the left-hand side, we have this flat grass section here. Additional, I feel like I keep saying outdoor seating area, but more outdoor seating area with a fire pit right in the center. I mean, this backyard is awesome. Views are even better. The whole vibe here, I'm really enjoying it. What do you think, Mikey? Uh, I really like it. I could imagine uh, this being an awesome house to uh, see at night, but I guess we'll do that later, right? We'll do that later. Yeah. Also, a little bit information about the neighborhood. This community has rec center with basketball courts, tennis courts, hiking trails, and we literally had to go through three different gates before we arrived at this property. So you're nice and secure in this neighborhood. Yeah, not to mention you're like five minutes from the beach, Newport Beach, Corona del Mar, Balboa Island. Uh, there's just so much to do there. So many restaurants, so many bars, like you're, you're in the heart of it. I agree, amazing location, phenomenal views. And that wraps our tour for the first floor of this home. Now let's go back to the staircase, go down to the lower level and check out the entertainment space. All right, everyone, here we are at the lower level. Like we talked earlier, staircase brings you down here to this spacious landing. We have beautiful hardwood floors here. Piano on the right hand side. The whole entertainment space is on this wing. But first, why don't we go through this door and check out this incredible car gallery. We have checkered pattern garage flooring here. And since this garage is on the lower level, we have this concrete driveway bringing us to here. And I really like how they lit up this entire concrete driveway with these modern wall sconces and the recessed lights on the floors. Yeah, can we go in there? Actually, it's so unique. It's like, you know. It's different. We don't see this quite often. It's like pulling in, it's like Iron Man or Batman or something, you know? Exactly. I mean, it's pretty intense, but it's nice to see that it's all concrete. Your cars are nice and secure here. Now, as we go in, obviously this car gallery is very spacious. Currently, they have six cars here, but you can easily park probably eight or nine but I love how they kind of left it all open. And let's face it, I mean, if you own a $34 million home, you probably have some nice cars. And in this case, we got a G-Class here, Bentley, another Bentley, Ferrari California. You gotta have Tesla and an Audi. Wait, is that a Bentley or a Rolls? That's a Bentley. That's Bentley Mulsanne. Oh, okay. It's a pretty nice it was, one. I thought Mikey. it was a Rolls, yeah. Overall, this is an incredible car gallery that complements the motor, uh, motor court up front. Now, as we go back into the landing, let's go check out the lower level. Right here on our right hand side, we have the elevator access again, going up to the uh, top two floors. And this opens up to the main space on the lower level. We have a seating area, pool table, and the bar setup on the left hand side. Let's start with the bar setup. We have a dual elevation island here, same glass compressed countertops that we saw on the kitchen island. It's also here, chandeliers above, Sink set up in the center, plenty of built-ins cabinetry here. And as we continue, Mikey, let's get a close-up here 
of course we got to check out our uh, fridge setup here another one on this side let's see ice maker there you go they have it you gotta you gotta have it microwave setup i like these uh, simple countertops tv on this side and again this bar setup is all about complementing this amazing entertainment space pool table right in the center and they carried out the same light fixtures on the bar also here we have the tv set up on the other side before i talk about here why don't i take you guys to this side this door opens up to a small room they currently stage it as a gym area but you can use it for storage there's actually a small closet here as well now what i like about the seating area is number one it's all open we have a gorgeous modern chandelier above two egress access one of them is an exterior door one of them is actually french doors allowing natural light and fresh air to come to this level but in the future if you want to utilize this space as a gym or an office you can simply close off this section with a glass enclosure or a wall to create some separation for this area now as we continue we have more built-ins here and talking about a gym this door opens up to a very spacious incredible bathroom we have the vanity set up here quartz countertops complemented with the beautiful white oak cabinetry i really like this back wall design with the stacked tiles, wall sconces, and as we go this way, we have the water closet here with the same tile wall as a back wall. Now, right on the other side, this glass door opens up to an extremely spacious walk-in shower, collabed with natural stone around the walls, even the ceiling is nicely tiled. We have the same tiles also on the floor. We have beautiful fixtures here, steam shower, and I really like this bench design here with the quartz finish, and they use the same quartz also for the shower sill as well, creates a nice contrast. Now, as we go back out to the lower level, we have the first seating area here and the second seating area on our right-hand side. Beautiful staging. I really like the light fixture right in the center with this oval cove lighting design that warms up the space. And as we continue here, of course, we have an additional gas fireplace here clad with marble. And talking about those arch details, we have two recessed and built-ins on each side with beautiful white oak paneling and another cozy seating area. Now, same hardwood floors continue. Right here, we have a powder room. We have gorgeous marble floors installed in a herringbone pattern. Looks stunning. And we have the same white oak cabinetry, marble countertops, fabricated sink. And I really like these light fixtures on each side with a round mirror and around the corner, we have the water closet. Now, the last room on this level is right here these double doors open up to the incredible movie theater come on in very spacious room we have three tier seating nice couch setups and walls are wrapped with this cloth that also serves as a sound insulation screen on this side built-in speakers cold lighting detail above and on our left hand side we have a small bar set up here with a fridge and a sink overall it's a great movie theater mikey what do you think uh you know movie theaters are always my favorite details in homes and uh this one's really nice i agree it's a good one. All right, guys, that's it for the lower level. Now let's go upstairs to the second floor and check out all the bedrooms. All right, everyone, here we are at the second floor landing. We have a skylight right above, letting natural light all the way to the lower level, complemented with the chandelier right here. Now, right in front of us, we have these double barn doors opening up to the seating area on the second floor. Nice, comfortable seating, casement windows on this side, and we have accordion doors right here, facing the views, opening up to a private balcony for the seating area. It's another great setup, and actually, Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling real quick? We have this nice vaulted ceiling detail, with the beams and to complement it all we have a bar set up right here microwave white oak cabinetry small fridge sink with this gorgeous marble countertops and the backsplash with the leaded finish looks stunning yeah it's really nice now we normally tour primary bedrooms later in the videos but you know what it's right here why don't we go through these double doors and check out the primary bedroom we have the first bathroom on our right hand side but first let's go through these doors and check out this spacious, incredible primary bedroom suite. This room is very inviting. We have the king size bed on the right-hand side, chandelier above, 
Two ceiling light details. We have cold lighting right in the center and I really like this recessed in LED lighting all around the room, kind of cozying up the space. Same beautiful hardwood floors and right in front of the bed, we have a seating area. As we look to the other side, this room is complemented with a small sink right here. And I love how this section is kind of arched and recessed in, kind of carrying those Mediterranean details. Gas fireplace, clad with marble, with a TV setup. Of course, your primary bedroom comes with a small fridge. And to complement it all, these sliding glass doors pocket into the walls over there, open up to this covered patio space. You enjoy the amazing views, not only from your bed, from this outdoor space as well. Nice seating setup. And we actually have a secondary sliding glass doors opening up from the bathroom to this covered patio space. Same limestone floors are also here. Like I mentioned, very cozy, inviting, and spacious primary bedroom suite. Now, these double doors open up to the primary bathroom. We have a makeup area here, vanity setup, beautiful marble countertops. This is really unique. They have this textured uh, tiled back wall here with round mirrors, recessed lights right on the other side. Mikey, is this oval or circular, I guess? Circular tub? Uh, circular tub, yeah. But yeah. it has a, has a little bench almost in there also, if you can see that. Like a seating section, right? Yeah. It's cool. So it's a freestanding tub, circular freestanding tub. We have the chrome top filler here, beautiful marble floors right above. To carry out the circular design element, they did this like a ceiling treatment with the chandelier above. Looks great. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, mentioned it earlier, opens up to the balcony and right behind me let's check out this uh, walk-in shower clad with marble everything is beautifully book matched same chrome fixtures are here shampoo and edge your bench setup mikey i need you to come right here if you can show the audience what kind of views you get from your, from your walk-in shower it's amazing yeah it's really cool you can see all the way north up the beach incredible yeah now let's continue our tour on this side, we have the water closet with small upper cabinet here. And this door opens up to the first closet. They carried out the white oak cabinetry in the closets as well. I mean, you have your hangers, uh, shelves, LED lighting. And I love how they utilize the space all the way to the ceiling. There's one more cool detail here I would like to point out. So obviously we have more cabinets here. Check this out, Mikey. This looks like a shallow cabinet here, right? Mm -hmm. So as part of Mediterranean architecture, you have these recessed in windows, which means from the exterior wall, you have about eight to 12 inches of setback and that's where you would position your windows. And because you have all that wall cavity that allows you to utilize it, that's how you can have these, you know, full size these drawers, yeah. full size drawers. This one is actually even cooler. Look, look at this. Look how shallow it looks. Check this out. Yeah. It's pretty nice, right? And deceptively deep. Yeah. There you go. Now let's go back to the bathroom, go all the way to the other side to check out the second bathroom and the closet, which starts right here. We are back at the hallway. Let's see. There you go. We have another set of pocket doors here opening up to the secondary bathroom. This one has a little bit more of the darker tones, marble mosaic entry here with marble floors throughout. But first, Mikey, let's show this. This is the first time we're seeing this. This is a water, uh, water closet. Oh yeah. And then uh, we have, how would you uh, word this in an elegant way, Mikey? I don't know if I have the class. I would call that a urinal though. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, it's a nice amenity to have. As a man, I feel like I would probably use it. Yeah, so I'm gonna assume this is his side of the bathroom. Yeah, let's assume that, right? Chandelier above and going to the other side, we have this may look like two walk-in showers, but it's not. This is your main walk-in shower. Same marble floors are here. Beautiful marble slabs on the walls. Your fixtures, a little bit of more of a flat tones. This is not chrome. This looks some sort of a satin finish because this is your main shower and this is your steam shower. How do I know? Because you have your steam uh, control here and your outlet down below. So you essentially get like two walk-in showers. That's cool. Now, right on the other side, we have the white oak cabinetry, your vanity setup right in the center, marble countertops, and the mosaic tile that we saw on the water closet, they use it as a back wall here. Cabinet starts on this side, and we have this open closet space right here with LED lighting and hangers. Now, that is pretty much it for, let's see, am I forgetting anything? We also have these French doors opening up the small patio off of the primary bedroom suite. 
I mean, it's extremely spacious, super warm and cozy. And then I really like that it has two bathrooms. Now we're back at the landing on the second floor. This is the elevator access right here. Why don't you open it up? Let's see the inside. We haven't opened it yet. Let's actually do that. Oh, there you go. This is the elevator. They have the same wood paneling also here. Can you, can you show the floors here real quick? I mean, they even have patterns on the floors in the elevator. Unnecessary, but shows those links they're willing to go to, you know? I respect that attention to detail. I yeah. love it. Now, same hardwood floors. Also, hardwood floors throughout, they're not just simple install. They also have this really unique pattern as well. And this door on our left-hand side opens up to the second guest suite located on this floor. Bed is situated right here with two fixtures on each side facing towards the amazing views. What I love about the bedrooms on this level, every single one of them gets a private balcony. I wanna show this real quick, opens up to the incredible views. I mean, look at it, this is just amazing. And Mikey, this is a weird place to show this, but can we look towards the bottom right here? They have copper flashing throughout the entire property. I love that. They have copper flashing on top of the shutters on the exterior. That is incredible. I mean, talking about attention to detail. And let's see, I think I mentioned, but chandelier above, barn door here, opens up to your closet and your bathroom. Walk-in closet here, let me turn on the lights. There you go. Vanity set up here with marble countertops and they use the same marble as a back wall here as well with uh, wall sconces. And right around the corner, we have the walk-in shower and your uh, toilet set up marble floors, marble walls, and then they're a good sized bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway. We got more to see. Hallway closet. Now this is really impressive. Another set of double barn doors opening up to laundry room. But I really like this laundry room. Why? I mean, you kind of have everything here. Beautiful cabinetry. I love that they even put marble countertops in this laundry room. Casement window bringing natural light. You have uppers, lowers, two washers and two dryers stacked, nicely organized, more cabinet space. Your second set here, more cabinets here. And I'm assuming this is where you do your like steam or use it as like a doggy wash. Maybe? Yeah, I was wondering, I thought it was like a doggy wash, but I don't know if that pole is above you. Like maybe you hang your clothes here, let them dry. Or maybe like, if you want to drip dry or air dry your clothes, right? That's right, because that's why they have a drain on the floor. Yeah, for but sure. But it's, it's a really nice laundry room. So I wanted to kind of mention all the details here. Now, back to the hallway. Third bedroom on this level, which is right here. A little bit bigger than the bedroom that we just toured. Bed is situated here, gorgeous light fixtures, just like throughout the entire house. French doors opening up to the back, we're gonna show that later. Another set of French doors opening up to the front facing balcony for you to appreciate the incredible views. And right around the corner, we have the bathroom, same style cabinetry, marble floors, marble countertops, and at this corner, we have this spacious walk-in shower. Basically, walls are clad with all these beautiful uh, marble slabs. Now, this is interesting. So those French doors and the door from the hallway opens up to the back side of the property that we just toured. Mikey, I know I'm taking you outside, but this is where we have the closet. I feel like I forgot to mention that. You did, you did indeed. Now we did, now we covered it. All right, so we have this covered patio space shared by this guest suite and the uh, hallway door. That's the staircase that I showed earlier from the side of the property that comes up to the second floor. Nice covered space. You have a seating area here. And if we follow this hallway, although on the first floor, it seems like guest house is not attached to the home, it technically here is. And in the future, you can probably close off these walls if you want uh, to kind of create a more intimate space connecting to the um, guest home. I like these columned arches here as well. And let's go inside. Let's check out the second floor of the guest home. Just like the first floor, second floor of this guest house is very spacious. We have the beautiful hardwood floors here, king size bed situated on this side, nice beam ceiling detail with the gorgeous light fixture. What I like about this room is it gets a ton of natural light because we have two sets of French doors, one facing the front, one facing the side, opening up the small balconies. So you get that perfect airflow in here. And I mean, from your bed, these views, Mikey, how many times did I point them out today? It's Qu incredible. Quite a few, but whoever's living in this room is gonna be living right. With both these doors open, I'm sure you get a lot of wind in here. It's, it's relaxing. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, you have the ocean literally right in front of you. Now, 
On the other side, we have the full bathroom. Let's take a quick look. Before you go to your bathroom, you kind of have a small bar area, paneled in fridge, some cabinetry, small sink, open shelving, and this door opens up to your bathroom. You get your vanity, marble countertops, marble floors, and we have the walk-in shower here with chrome fixtures. I mean, everything you need. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with this guest home because it has so many different uses. You can make it into a two-story office. Obviously, it serves great as a guest home. And that wraps our tour for this home. I mean, we toured the main home, we toured the guest home, but of course, we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna spend the rest of the day here so we can see this place at dusk. And after that, I'll summarize my thoughts on this house. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. We spent the whole day here looking at these amazing views and got a chance to tour this phenomenal property. House is located in Newport Beach, Newport Coast. Honestly, it doesn't get much better than this. And it took the developers five years to design and build this phenomenal home. I love all the wood tones, stones, marbles they used throughout. House had a very warm, inviting, and humble feel to it. And for that, I wanna congratulate the developers for doing a phenomenal job with this build. And I wanna thank the listing agent, Hannah Karcher, for inviting us out here and allowing us to tour this phenomenal property and share it with all of you. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>